everyone, welcome to another video for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today I'm going to quickly show you how you can use the We Are Memory Keepers Candy Box Punch Board. This is a great tool for our upcoming Valentine's Day season. You can put some treats inside the box. So you're going to start with, well, before I get to the actual that, I'm just going to walk you through the punch board. It comes with a scoring tool that can slide in for storage right there. There's a punch right here that you'll see what we do in a minute. You also have a diamond right here and then a um, a groove for scoring. You can also punch up on this end as well. And all of that will start to make sense once I get into the process. So you're gonna start with some paper or cardstock that's cut to seven inches wide by any length that's between four and 12 inches. So I'm doing one that's six inches long today, but you could actually make it even longer if you'd like. And when the paper is longer than the board, all you have to do is when you um, do the second set of punching, you'll turn it around and you'll also score from that end as well. It will make sense once we get going here. All right, so to start making the candy box, you're gonna take the edge that has to sit that seven inches across. You're gonna put that right up against that edge there. You always want the seven inch edge up there. And I'm moving it over to this start line. It's a labeled start line at the bottom. I'm pulling it right over there. Forgot, I need my scoring tool, so I'll pull that out now. So it's at that start line, and I'm just going to punch. All right, and then I'm gonna slide this over, and it punched out this groove right here, and I'm gonna line that up with the edge of the diamond right there, and I'll create another punch. All right, and now when I slide it over, that diamond's gonna lock right in place and I'm going to take my scoring tool and follow that groove down and have it come all the way down to the bottom. Also score that at the very top. All right, and I'm going to continue doing this, punching and then sliding over. Punch that again, score right here. Slide that diamond over. And I'll punch and then score. And then this last diamond, I'm not gonna punch, I'm just going to score. All right, there we go. All right, and now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to be punching diamonds on this end. And I want to make sure that I'm starting, in fact, I'm gonna turn my paper over because I want the one where it has the half uh, diamond I want that to be the start up here. So I'm gonna start and I'll punch that and then come over here, punch again, move that over to where it lines up. Okay, so I've already scored this because my paper was a length that would fit on the board. But if my paper was longer, I would go ahead and score from that end as well. So I'll punch that diamond and one more. All right, you can leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around and punch from this end as well. There are two little uh, triangles right here and they line up with the diamonds. So I can just punch that right there. Then I'll slide this over to the next groove. Punch that, and I will continue on on all of the areas. All right, so now I have all my punching done, so I'm ready to start assembling. So first you're going to take the scoring lines and you're gonna start folding in along all those lines that we've created. All right, and this eventually is going to come over here so that it creates a box just like this. So I'm gonna put some adhesive down on this shorter flap here. The adhesive I'm using is Wonder Tape from Ranger, but you can use any other really strong adhesive. You could even use um, like a line of glossy accents or something like that. It's 
gonna run this red tape right along that line. I like to put the adhesive as close to the fold as possible. And I'm also going to put a little bit of adhesive right on this end, just a little tiny square. Right there, really press those down so I can peel up the backing. All right, I'm gonna put this down right here and then I can just fold this over, lining up those areas. So now I have the basic box shape completed. I'm going to need some string for this next little bit. So I just got some twine here from Lawn Fawn. Just need a little bit of string. And what you're gonna do is you're going to be pinching in these areas to create the end of the box. So it starts to create a little box shape and you can even puff out the ends here in a minute. All right, so it's going to look like that and close up. So after I've got that basic kind of fold started, I'm gonna go ahead and put my string underneath. And I like to tie it in a knot once I get it uh, tight to the point where I like it. Kind of hold it, twist it a couple, you know, twist it around and then hold my finger down so it's holding that tight so that I can Get a really tight hold on that. So this is when you would put your treats or anything else that you want inside. So let's pretend I put some treats in there. I'm gonna cut another piece of string and I'm going to do the same thing on this end. Just pinching in those corners so it starts to close up the box. All right, and I'll tie the string on this end. Get that nice and tight. And then tighten up that knot. And if you want, you can go ahead and Tie a bow on each end. I think this is a really cute way to package up any candies or little treats that you want to give anyone. Um, great for any holiday or like I said before, Valentine's Day. So that is how you use the We Are Memory Keepers candy box punch board. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.